All right, what's up, everybody? It's me, Soul Supreme, and welcome back to some more Dastly Dutch in Victoria 2. All right, so let's get to crack in and try to recoup our losses. Yeah, I should be able to pay back these loans. Oh, wow, we actually have a lot more from Mexico. Uh, hang on. Okay, this should be enough to pay it all off. Cool. So, I'm also... Here, open all the factories and subsidize them. I don't care. We didn't need people working right now. I'm going to do that. Uh, Serbia just fell. Our main thing is, I'm trying to, like, steer us through this, like, damn tumultuous period. Uh, what is this? Oh, is it because I appointed the damn socialist in charge? Yeah, it looks like, okay. Okay, okay, calm down, people. Um, oh, and then that warship we made, um, came about. Oh. Here, put you on Bremen. Yeah, it looks like I am going to be peaceful right now. Mind my own damn business. That's what I have to do. I really can't get any, like, diplomatic or crazy schemes or adventures. Like, uh, goddamn. Portugal! And get out of my damn sphere. Here, boost that up. Yeah, let me steer clear of all this nonsense. And where is that? Holland? Okay, Holland, we got enough of these guys. Yeah, re like Britain is following the rebels. I'm just going to build up a big war chest. Mysore. Oh, you want to build a sawmill or Mysore? Here. And that's in it. I don't care. Invest in all these factories. People will work in it eventually. Uh, oh yeah, we could create protect right here. And another protect right here. And what, what's the movement radicalizing you guys the most? Not much, but I do got a shit ton of militant socialists. Uh, let's see, where's the thing? All right, I'm gonna try to keep the peace. Um, speaking of here, let me raise some more soldiers up here. Hmm. Here we can raise some Swedish and Danish infantry. You guys could all help out the cause. Spanish is hard, I believe. Uh, I'll try to get you guys uh, sane. Oh, then we got this final loan to repay. Yeah, Britain is dying in a like downward spiral of death. Rupee Safari, okay. Now they're back. They don't even have railroads in, like, Britain. I just realized that. Good God. Their industry is completely... They have no industry. This place is horrible. I mean, as much as I would like to go over there with another Dutch intervention to, like, um, clean this mess, I... Honestly, genuinely can't. Yeah. 
Ukraine. Uh, yeah, we'll leave Ukraine B. Congo, let me see. They're gonna boot me out of the Congo before I get there. Need to at least get to expel advisors. F off Portugal. No. Oh, we have some militant socialists. All right. Crack down on them now. Damn you. Okay. All you hit right over there. Okay. Well, at least they're being put down with ferocity. That honestly should clean this up. Okay. So, most people want. Boralism, jingoism, uh, where. Acceptable school system. Alright, there. No, that's what you all want it. You guys move over here. You gotta pick these guys up. Alright. Drop the military funding. I'm still in the business of making money. Even though our Navy is just a husk of what it should be, this is all we can really afford right now. Oh, we got a little bit of a rubber uprising on the island here. And head over here, kill these guys. Army. Okay, you guys are coming along nicely. Says once again, help defend the uh, motherland. I gotta actually get more armies up there, just because of like the pure chaos um, involved in all this. Man, it kind of sucks how. Even though we got a wide empire, it's just a complete mess of things. <laughs> Alright. Head over to Amsterdam. I want you guys to at least secure um, our capital region. We need this now more than ever. Again, I'm gonna let the whole world like party around me. Oh wow, Swabia, you're the second um, greatest power in the game. It's just off of industry alone, Jesus. 10th strongest military, 15th in prestige, but um, oh, damn it, I was not paying attention. And I need a ban um Portugal. Our investment banks are done. Um I should do nationalism, imperialism, right?
Let's see. Yeah, let's go down nationalism up here. Actually, no, let's do this one. I need to increase the reinforcement rates of our armies because it's kind of like piss poor how bad it is. And expand the Asian and African farms and mines. And da da da. I don't like these damn militant socialists one bit. Leave me alone. I'm going into splendid isolation mode. I don't want to be messed with. I don't want to be bothered. I just want to be left alone. Actually, let me see. Will Mania give me military access if I ask? It's my infamy. Mm. What about you, Swabia? No one would give me military access. As much as I would love to, so I could like transport some troops around. Let's actually test this, so let's see. Where are Oh, this is all the way. Oh, wait, where did I just see that? Oh, I thought it was some Somali. I'm oh, sorry. All right. Try to get a rise. Some African troops to station them up here. Like as long as I, I'm good. Here, pay for that project with my sword. Pay for them. You know something? I think it's just my sword. It just has some people available to work. Oh well, I'm subsidizing these factories to uh, be propped open. I don't care if it's economically poor in the long run. I just need people to like, you know, help defend over here. Yeah, Portugal is really like, kidding me on this damn thing. Cause I'm not. I need to hyper focus on this. What I need to get to 65. Also, let's increase relations. You own Dalmatia. Uh, Arabia, Australia is actually a great power. Would you look at that? They broke free of Arabia. Um, I guess because of all their money, they <laughs> they're actually considered um a really great power now. Let's see, oh yeah, seventh in industry, ninth in military. Drop from Ukraine. That's one thing we could do. I don't need to worry about that. All right, that's done. Here, yeah, let's also do this one. Just need to get to sixty-five. Oh my god. They keep pissing with me over here. If you want to go to war, you bastard, over this, I would be more than happy to oblige. Positive relations. Mm. 
me alone. Here, boost trade unions. Alright, they calm down the militant socialists. As long as they calm you guys down a little bit. Yeah, we all have like trade unions. Like non-socialist trade unions at least. I possibly allow all of you to calm down. Okay, Congo is rising up. Cool, so. All right, we're generating money, a healthy income. That's what I like to see. army I'll be shipping you guys out uh, to Dutch homeland Bosnia is still trying to schmooze with me yes I'm trying to keep like peace within our nation Though I'm running this thing like a rickety damn ship. Um, I'm at least glad I'm keeping it together somewhat. Yeah, we have this Neo-Paris commune literally isolated from everywhere else. Colombian Lima. Um, This is... Yeah, I don't... I don't care about you. Leave me alone. Mexico's backing. Yep. Not my problem right now. Still trying to keep the peace. All right, Serbia, the ally, me. Serbia is in trouble. Right, Serbia is at war with Dalmatia and Slavonia. Oh God. Um, Serbia doesn't really have an army anymore. Yeah, they're no longer, they're still technologically advanced, but they're no longer the power that was protecting me. It's now the shoes on the other foot. I'm protecting them. Yeah, this ain't on my continent and it ain't none of my damn business. So, um, I'm just going to ignore that. Right, they white piece right here. Build a couple more transports. All right, admin efficiency is done. boost input efficiency as well trying to like catch up on like some of these other essential techs navy we're not i'm not really worried about that at the moment and most of the wars we're going to be fighting is going to be mostly defending our continental holdings and since i got a big military presence on our colonies and everything um not really worried about uh what could happen over here So let me see, actually, let me also beef up some armies down here in Asia. Let's see. There, Just have them like be nice and strong in case anything happens. I 
mission of warship. Still out and around. Let's see, let's see how much like naval attrition you guys will be taking. Oh no, I think yeah, you guys are still in supply range. Okay. Hey, you guys are enjoy your vacation up here. You guys head back down to the Mediterranean. Hit up here by the capital. I'm, I'm just paranoid about rebels because they're getting more and more brazen. See, as long as we keep a significant military presence, I am not too worried. Yeah. Let's also beef up our fortifications around here. Like on the border. Say so in case we do get attacked again, they're gonna have to go through a little bit more hassle to get to me. All right, that's done. I'll put, I'll put, I'll put. It. Okay, no, actually, we're gonna hold off on that. Said, go for iron railroads. Let's get to working on that to improve our output. Yeah, our neighbor Swabia has some like pretty good railroads. We should get better ones. Concerted party is in charge. All right, here. Cover this up with a 5% tariff increase. Liberals in the upper house. And let's see. Here, I have a road guy, man, right? At least every time I pass some of these reforms, people calm down a little bit more, but by God, I still want to maintain like some aspects of the monarchy. I'm not going to save you, Georgia, so stop asking me. Patriot, Patriot. Oh yeah, so let's see. Um, the army's over here. These guys just revolted. Bulk of that army. Oh yeah. Head over here. Okay, that one wasn't too bad, but it was still like crap. Okay, these guys are dealing with those troublemakers. Okay. 
and yeah, build some forts down here. Mainly because I would try to keep the rebels from having real quick access to like this, some of this valuable territory. So I'm investing in some forts. Put you guys up. To, oops, go up here. All right, so that established. Um, Serbia, are you okay still? Uh, you're kind of okay. And you. It's actually easy to pick these guys up. Yep. Drop them off over here as well. Okay, I'm now starting to feel happy about our situation right now. Yeah, build some forts down there. Build forts right there. Kind of like have a little holdout line. So the Palermo pick these guys up, finally get them off that damn island. All right, and now it's just a matter of waiting. Okay, Congo. Uh, yeah, just decrease their opinion down there. I get that. I can get that done in 317.90. So much difference. Okay, let's do this one. Get to basically double our research points. <laughs> okay. I think safe to say that uh largely everything is okay yeah, let's head up to the capital if anything happens you guys will be there luxury furniture factory okay yeah as long as you guys defend against like any communists i'm good with that we don't want to end up like Romania over here and Romania was forced to release Circassia oh my god here suppress them this is bad, but like, I need you guys to calm down a little bit. But yeah, the militant socialist, I don't like that. Raise military spending. Except the lines from the Congo. Okay. I'll even allow, I'll allow all trade unions. Just at least make you guys take a step back from all this chaos. And let me see, I swore, I'm actually gonna do this. We're gonna have you guys all be nice and secure 
and the state yeah i'm keeping the military at least mostly funded we're in a period of economic prosperity yeah. also to offset some of the costs race tariffs by 10 percent romania has failed to communism oh god Again, yeah, keep troops stationed on the Romanian border in case <laughs> Hey, hey, you can say whatever you want about me. Say that I, I'm running this place like a piss poor captain. But damn it, when I say I actually haven't fallen to rebels, I've kept my people happy, literacy is going up. And sure, we get like the usual riffraff. Um, I have to say, I'm proud of where we're at right now. In Bhutan. Mm, oh. The hell happened here? Oh, the uh, reactionaries. Okay, here. Uh, invested Bhutan. And Congo to our sphere. Yeah, host the game or the world fair. Yes, Bhutan, I'll still keep my alliance with you. The regional trade fair is open. Okay, you guys can actually head to the southern part of the continent. Maintain order down there. All right. Even though I really could declare war, I don't want to. This is, again, I have like a bunch of money saved up. I actually do not want to go to war. I am at, <laughs> war is giving me bad vibes right now. Like, I'm just afraid that if I go to war, everything will spiral out of control. So what better time now than to just industrialize for the grand crescendo in the 1900s? Besides, we're gonna go to war. It's probably gonna be in Hearts of Iron. <laughs> oh, you're still pissing about. Yeah, go away, Portugal. Granada um, came destabilized again. Yeah, I have no interest in maintaining complete hegemony down here. Hey, I don't even ally with uh, you guys. Oh, I see Portuguese are massing at your border. And there is random French troops in my land. Portugal, what are you doing? You're at war. Oh, France is trying to take Normandy back. Uh, Mongolian restoration of that. Okay, well... We're rivals, Portugal. We've been rivals for the past several centuries. Though we are of the same dynasty, you have pissed on me time and time again. At least uh, the conservatives are losing bulk of their power. Give me some time and I'll try to create um, something. We're at 45% literacy. 45% of our nation is like able to read. And let's see. Okay, Finland is going away. At least Finland is stable enough that it has at least an army that's relatively big for its size. Ukraine is almost like westernized. Hell, I have investments in Ukraine with like these damn railroads. Rotterdam, you're a lady. The growth of our colonies has turned Rotterdam into the constantly expanding cultural and economic name of an empire. Every day with past, every passing hour, people from every conceivable corner of the world we have made ours, arrive in our capital to court our ministers to trade with merchants, engineers, and industrialists, and to experience any one of the multitude of fates that Rotterdam affords its visitors. 
Saying again, Rotterdam Central, one can see all around oneself a small panorama of the world, hear spoken any and all of the varying tongues and languages of the world, and smell both the scents and the odors of faraway lands and the annals of the Netherlands Empire. The years around 1890 will always be remembered as the golden age of Rotterdam. Oh, thank God. Well, let's see. I understand everyone loves Rotterdam right now. And I am churning us a pretty penny. We're still profitable. I have millions saved up. Thank God. Um, let me see. Uh... Here, do actually I think this will be fine. Business regulations. Yeah, business regulations. Again, I'm just happy that everyone in our territory is more than um able to like experience some form of prosperity communist riot I'll put them down here yeah, invested all of this all of this capitalist I don't care I'm investing in it don't tell me what I'm just gonna invest in it even if we have a factory that is supposed to house 12,000 people with no one inside with them But though I want this our empire to be the envy of all. Yeah, the people in Egypt calm down. While I expand our railway systems throughout the country. Because Lord wills it. Yes, he does. Span everywhere. You guys will all appreciate our land. We are upgrading our railroads. We're going to catch up to our neighbors. You see that, Swabia? You freaking dirt patch in my way. I'm, I'm doing something about it. Expand the railroads all throughout here. That way the gift of transportation spread throughout our empire. It's gonna cost us a pretty penny. But again, damn it, we needed this. I let the capitalist handle the majority of the rest. All right, people, you ain't working before. You got jobs now. I'm willing to give you guys like you know extra pay working on upgrading our railroad infrastructure. <laughs> oh man, I really can't wait till Victoria Three just to see this like upgrade beautifully, like uh, like the prettier map. Hmm. Now, unfortunately, you, Romania. Romania is like Portugal or Jazeera. Portugal still has, like, this dumbass alliance network. Oh, wait. The only ally were Romania, Portuguese, Brazil. Hmm. As long as I keep myself, like, in the middle, I don't have much to worry about, right? Looks like Serbia's coming back on up on its strain. Yeah. So, uh, leave me alone. 
Splendid Isolation is where we're going. Sphere of Bhutan. Oh, wait. I could actually start colonizing. French also started colonizing up here as well. I did not realize that. No one's going to be able to get those lands. Those are going to be empty, abandoned, hopeless places. See that Colombia is also competing with the French up here? Oh, they are. Yeah, I think due to the like sheer amount of people being exported over here, Colombia. Immigrations to Hmm, oh, actually probably not. I wanna see what the total population is. Let me see. What if I if I go here? A lot of people are leaving to go to Portuguese Colombia. It's like a whole bunch of Dutch like hidden out here or oh, mostly from India and stuff We're forming little communities down there I'm getting some from Switzerland where are these guys mainly heading off to oh up there hmm Alright, that's done. Alright, I can finish this with generative furnaces. See if I can afford that. Come on, let me get one reform through. Putting the military on high alert. No, we're not going to get no planned economy going. Oh, there goes that. Like, this isn't that bad, and at least the military, they got their supplies. And... Jesus. Um, right when I was about to pass this, um, you guys wanted a minimum wage? There. Okay. Well, this isn't... Uh, okay. Well, at least the guys are funded, so you guys can just go about killing... Normandy actually landed troops down there. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn you on. Yeah, holy crap, there. A ton of rebels. Yeah. Yeah, get rid of this. Holy, we need, we need to get gas attacks so we can just gas these people. <laughs> I didn't realize I had some of these guys turned off from rebel hunting, but, um, all right, it looks like it's been largely cleaned up. 
Caucasian Azerbaijan. Uh, go down here, Buchanan land. How is it down here? Okay. Not bad. Yeah, I think now we are facing a little bit of a depopulation because I just killed a ton of people. <laughs> so, what was this? Do, 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 crisis. Caucus. Nah, no, I don't care. Let me see if I can, can I get free prestige from this there. <laughs> hey, you gain a little bit of territory. it up here let's do nationalism imperialism oh, actually um actually let's go to, let's do the military forgot France inherited this chunk of land Got a little bit militant socialist up there. Hmm. Let me send you guys on an adventure. Portugal and France are competing up there. We're keeping up with Buchanan land. All right. Oh, Colombia. It's possibly going to win that corner. Oh, British North America. Yeah, let's get membership into the Olympics. Uh, you guys are the African Defense Force. May God have mercy on your soul because you're never going to be really coming back. And... Actually, here, raise some of these Greeks. To be soldiers I can split up down here. No grind, no. Oh, I have another well, socialist over there. Here, guess I can expand these little bases. It's free Malta. What's up, Serbia? Liberation of Montenegro. I ain't sure I'll nominally be a part of this, but this isn't really my fight. Put a naval base down there. Right. Cool. So everything's about stable, and I think I'm gonna wrap this video up right here with a propaganda campaign. It's a plurality, plurality gain a bunch of money, 
Let's see, what does it say? He who wants to persuade should put his trust in the right argument, but in the right word. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, we got a free press. Yeah, let's do this. Drum up support for the war. Or boost the government's popularity. Hmm. Yeah, this drum of support for the war. Actually, I will be able to uh, get over there in time. Who the hell are you? Oh, you walked over. Get machine guns. We waited for far too long to get machine guns here. Uh, Serbia has this other control. You don't need me. But I'll see you guys again on the next video. This is Soul Supreme. And have a great day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.